When she came down to Bondi expecting to do a photo shoot with three lifeguards, she was expecting like a couple of six foot plus good looking blokes. And instead, she got me and Whippet just looking at our absolute worst. Irene is on a quest to raise money for charity. Now I'm doing, um, I'm travelling over 50,000 miles in 50 days to raise 50,000 pounds. Hello. Hey, you go, come in. Oh, thank you. My name's Harry. Yeah. I'm my boss, Hoppo. Ah, oh, pleased to meet you. I'm all right, Good. thank you. Yeah. Hoppo's just, he's actually, he said you can play yeah. if you let me yeah. have a go at it too. Yeah, why not? <laughs> sure. I've never played the bagpipes. Hoping to avoid making a fool of himself, Harry's wants to see how it's done first. I thought it'd be better if I let Irene actually use the bagpipes and use them right. Yeah. You know, I thought it'd be best if I just get, gave her a bit of a present, a culture exchange, and showed her what the emu and kangaroo can do. Harry's, of course, wanted to have a go, and I thought, well, do I let him have a go or not? And I thought, why not? Come here, Harry. Amazing, this is my dream. <laughs> Yay! There we go. That is so hard. It sounded like the music on the Titanic when it's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I'd just blown like three or four balloons up. You know, I started to get a bit hypoxic. You know, I've got a good respect for her. She's doing this for charity, so all the best to her. Huge seas and gale force winds have cleared the beach of people. Except for one man. Look at this guy, he's stoked. He's just stoked. He's fully composing something, eh? And we were a little bit confused because he was throwing his arms out. It was like Thor or something. It was like some sort of god. People normally do that on a dance floor. It's just that he's doing it in front of the raw ocean. It's deep house, mate. It's just deep. Oh, he's finishing up. I'm calling that he's not done. I'm right. He's, he's coming back. You reckon with another shit. trash? He had a look up here, didn't he? He's got more to offer this bloke. Oh, he's going back. Yeah, can you go down and find out what music he's listening to, please? But before you do, we'll have a little guess yeah. on what he's gonna. What yeah. is? I'm, I'm calling genre as house. I mean, it looks like his house genre. We really didn't know, because he was um, just throwing out some more inspiring moves, and it had to be something good. What's he going, man? Wanna get him up here? Oh, Let's get him up here. Yeah. Go get him up here, mate. I'm not gonna... Yeah, okay. I'll get him up okay. here. What better way to find out than go down and have a little dance with him and, and ask him, what is it? <laughs> so that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what are you listening to, mate? Some DMX. Have a listen? Yeah. Oh, here he's got it on. He's putting the headphones on. Oh. 18 year old traveller Jake is on holidays from London. And it looks like he's found a soulmate in Aussie lifeguard Jethro. So I had a chat with him and I was like, Jake, mate. The boys are wondering, you know, what you're listening to. You keen to come up and, and have a chat? They, they want to speak to you. And he's like, yeah, yeah. This is Jay. Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, Alright. Uh, How are you? Uh, yeah, nice. uh, fully. Alright. Right. from? Yeah, I've never heard of many people in there. What, what's what genre? Music you to? What are you listening to? Uh, you didn't know what you're listening some, to. Some some sort of gangster rap. Is this in a DMX? Oh, DMX. Oh, yeah. Mouse just came out of nowhere and said, "Mate, do you rap? Can you rap?" And we all looked at each other like. He can't rap. He's not a rapper. Um, <laughs> British kid rapping city when I get through getting it down with the people of Bondi rescue. Oh! Oh, I'm rapping, but I'm drowning off a lifeguard. Oh, yeah. 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 They be acting crazy. They go into the chat and up and they won't save me. Oh. When I go to the bottom of the seabed, low, then I go to a sea red. Red lights flash up and I'm drowning. Muscular flexing, get the death in. <laughs> Repping England, the UK, come through the dude play on the beach of UA. Jethro. That was 
Unbelievable, mate. That was proper. Hot. Did you, did you? Master J. Master J. Hey, uh, Jay. Would you stop giving this, um, oh, yeah, this? Can I put it on your head? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I now legally save people's eyes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank you, yeah. Man. Thank you, man. It was just one of those Bondi moments, you know, where something really strange happens out of nowhere. I feel like this could be a future. I feel like I should come down here, beef up a little bit, try and get a job as a lifeguard. I love that. In town from Las Vegas, Australia's very own manpower are the world's number one all-male dance review. They're in Bondi for a photo shoot. <laughs> but want to meet another bunch of blokes who are also famous for taking their shirts off, just for very different reasons. Myself and Jeff Fraver were in the tower. Um, there wasn't much going on. We got a knock on the door. Hey, what's up, what hey, nice. dude? About eight big dudes with their shirts off. Turned out to be manpower. Best view in the house. How's it going, mate? Yeah. How's it going, oh, manpower, yeah. It was a sus moment. <laughs> Jethro isn't rushing to lay down the welcome mat. It's a pretty small room, right? When there's like 10 enormous blokes in there, it fills up a lot of space. And every time I turn around and look at them, they were right, right up in my grill, mate. And I was just like far out. I felt like a little 14 year old boy next to them. We're actually going to be recruiting for some guys if we want to. Mate, he's young and ready to go. Like, yeah. I've, I've been around, like, you don't want my old flesh, but he's <laughs> young and you can yeah. manipulate oh, him whatever you want. Like. <laughs> I think the girls would love that. At one point, they even said, get your shirt off, and I was thinking, nah, mate, not even nearly. <laughs> Seeing Jethro's unease at the wall of rippling man flesh, Mouse breaks the tension. You know, you should go down to the buggy yeah. and make Kerr box the boss. He's, he's, on the right he's probably got the best rig out of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, so if I yeah. jumped on my undies right now and ran down there and asked for a chip, oh, would they good? He would be so stoked. He'd be he absolutely would be dropping. so stoked to see you <laughs> in your undies right. in front of him. Yeah, take it off, take it off. Oh, it right. not <laughs> I want to look like a lifeguard, so someone gets some issues. Instantly, one of the manpower guys just stripped down into his underwear and just bolted down to Kerr Box's rhino and put it on him. It was classic. Please get there in time. <laughs> Please get there in time. <laughs> who's on patrol with Harrison, isn't expecting any visitors. I thought that he would just, like, wig out and not handle it very well. Oh, which one of you guys is Kerbox? Yeah, mate. Oh, you, you're the man. I heard you're the man. <laughs> so just telling me uh, you got all the training tips, you know everything about this place. Give me some swimming lessons, I'll give you some dancing lessons. Hey, we're training right out. Kerbox is our newest member. <laughs> Car Australia right here upon my beach. Oh, the famous Kerbox. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> something's up, something's sus. It's not a flash mob like they're going to get yeah. nude and flash. No. Well, you're going to get naked. Back in my day, mate. <laughs> if you're flashy, it means you're nude. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, two seven foot drag queens appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> here we go. There's a flash mob. I'm a big fan of, of keeping the drive alive. So if someone's dancing, I'm dancing. Initially, Jethro was attracted to the action. Now the action is attracted to Jethro. It's bloody warm for all this get up, isn't it? You're not wearing much. I'm wearing more than I would normally wear. It's always hard when I'm bigger than the lifeguards. I'll stand back here. Yeah, I was intimidated to say the least. <laughs> it could be a case of opposites attract, but Jethro actually shares something in common with his new friends. Yeah, how are you going? We've got to sit on my hair. Oh, yeah, mate. Like, <laughs> you and I, we're going to go to the same look, hairdresser. Look it's quite funny. It's a bit of a scene. I haven't seen that many, many drag queens in my time. Do you really? condition yours? <laughs> Mine's a little dry, do you want to feel? I felt yours. Smell it. Yes. Oh, no. feel for we're a not feel. that kind of drag queen. <laughs> we wanted you to come and join in the dance. Well, maybe we could do it together. <laughs> maybe next time. Oh, maybe I'll just throw myself on the water and then we could bust a move out there. <laughs> All right, it's too hot out here, boys. I don't know how you do it. We're taking our heels and running. We're going for a beer. Uh, Thanks for keeping it on. You look a fair bit like that one in the UK. 
I don't mean to be rude. Maybe if, you know, like, um, doesn't fall through, I could... <laughs> <laughs> to meet Heidi Klum is, like, you know, once in a lifetime kind of thing. I've watched the Victoria's Victoria Secret shows as a kid growing up. I'm not even as a kid, probably <laughs> an adult. <laughs> Mouse, Bisho and Whippet are joining Heidi in a photo shoot for the German supermodel's clothing label. She's got an undie label, she's coming down and we're just doing some photos with her. I wanted a couple of young fit uh, Bondi lifeguards to shoot with, so they chose us for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Mouse is concerned he's not quite male model quality today. A few days um, before the photo shoot, I had some physio done um, with some suction cups and um, basically my whole body was just a big bruise and uh, um, I was looking absolutely terrible for it. But Whippet has his own image problems. He had a spare 10 minutes before Heidi Klum's arrival, so he's bolted out for a surf, and uh, he's actually got stung across the face by a blue bottle. After mocking numerous people yesterday for it. <laughs> um, uh... One lifeguard who always maintains peak condition for just these opportunities is Harry's. Harry's turned up as well, and he loves this stuff. He's born for this stuff. He loves this stuff more than lifeguarding or anything, you know? Except he's been kept in the dark about this one. When I wasn't chosen for the Heidi Klum shoot, you know, was I upset? Harry's has just come straight out of the surf. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> now, I wanted to see him in the underwear. I wanted to see if they looked as good as I. You know, you don't admit a lot of things in life, but before I get in my underwear, I get a spray tan. These boys were a little pale. He was so jealous, I loved it. No lookout is required to spot the German supermodel who is taller than her security guards. Oh my God, look at this. Look at her. <laughs> so I've been told to keep my shirt on. <laughs> Not very often that I'm speechless. When she came down to Bondi expecting to do a photo shoot with three lifeguards, she was expecting like a couple of six foot plus good looking blokes. And instead, she got me and Whippet just looking at our absolute worst. So we're just gonna go fast. Yeah. And maybe you guys look that way and I can turn around. Put that sloppy weary go away. <laughs> well, when I walked out, this little American lady, she was like, did you get those bruises from trying to save someone's life? I was trying to not. Well done. <laughs> Life guards in Bondi are the best. <laughs> and the hardest. <laughs> Heidi Klum, one of the boys. Or we could say Mouse, Whippet and Bisho, Victoria's Secret Models. Yeah.